Okay, I tried the PVC experiment, melting PVC, and it didn't work. It's just very toxic, and it almost killed me. Yeah, so I don't suggest trying to do it. There's remnants of burnt PVC. So I came up with another option. Melting shampoo bottles. And I'll show you why. You walk over here, or I'll walk over here, and I did some research and found out that uh, anything with the, the triangle with the number two in it is good for melting. So, a Home Depot bucket, anything with a number two on it. Those shampoo bottles have a number two on them so they're good for for melting I don't know if you can see it but it's right there on the shampoo bottle and in my oven here I have two kinds of plastic being melted right now and I left my plier somewhere I was going to pull it out okay here they are over here Sorry for the camera action. You see all my junk. But here's the lids to the shampoo bottles. And they're a molten mess. But I think once it heats up enough, it'll settle down into a solid layer, multicolors. But if you don't want multicolors, you can just use a bucket and go for it. I'll put this back in. Now here is the shampoo bottles. Strictly just the bottles. They're taking a little longer to melt down. I don't know if they need a little more heat. I might have to crank it up a little. There's three of them in there right now. Stick them back in and throw another bottle in it. Throw another bottle in it first and then stick it back in. Yeah. So if you can see the temperature I have it at about 500 degrees right now. I might have to crank it up to 600 to get the bottles to melt. So that's my experiment. I think it will work with the bottles and anything with a number two on it. So if you want to try it, do it outside. I suggest doing it outside anyway just because it's a lot safer. And it won't get your wife mad. Well, have a good one. This is Jeff. We'll see you later. Thank you.